Good Monday morning to you. I'm Carrie Hamblin, the CEO and President of the Las Cruces Dream Chamber of Commerce. And every Monday, I have the joy and honor of breaking into your Facebook news feed with this weekly video from the Las Cruces Dream Chamber of Commerce. What I get to do is tell you about what's happened last week and give you a recap and then give you a little tease about what's coming up. And also in this segment, we get to do our Think Local Love shout out, which I will be doing in just a minute. We have a special guest here in the office special guest hand. Um, so we had a, a ribbon cutting last Friday night for Leave It Local Las Cruces. Uh, we're very excited to partner with them. It's a social media site uh, organized by two incredible women uh, to try and bring more awareness about the impact of local businesses. And so they had a fair on Saturday, uh, no, Friday night um, on the plaza. And we were able to do a ribbon cutting there for them, which is fantastic. You'll see some photos right below this one. Um, I unfortunately was not able to make it because of graduation, which was a crazy busy graduation weekend. I'm sure you experienced some traffic around town with that. Um, but congratulations to Candace and all the folks that leave at Local Las Cruces. Uh, I was told and saw pictures that the event was fabulous, and so we can't wait to work with you again on some other ones. Also, just to let you know, it's the month of May, which means it is the third year anniversary of the designation of the Oregon Mountains Desert Peaks National Monument. And as the um, continuing focus on deciding to resize our national monument is in the, the national dialogue right now. Um, we want to make sure it stays as is. So on our website, on locallascruces.com, if you look under OMDP, you'll see Monumental Love. And what we have are 31 different businesses who share their support for our national monument and today about why it's so important. So go to locallascruces.com. Click on OMDP and you'll see the monumental love. We're having 31 days of monumental love here because Las Cruces loves its monument as is. Uh, now, <clears throat> this is always my favorite segment because I always get to bring people in so it's not just me talking, 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 talking. It's time to think local love. Show some think local love here. And of course, did you know today is nonprofit tax day, right? Nonprofit tax day? Yeah, nonprofit tax day, which means what? Get your taxes in. Oh, nonprofit, you have to get your taxes in. Um, whoa, thank goodness I told you that, right? Because otherwise you wouldn't have known that. Um, but it's perfect a perfect segue because today in our Think Local Love shout out, we have the executive director of the Safe Haven Animal Sanctuary. And the sanctuary has been going on uh, for quite some time. But I'm going to bring in Laura O'Connor, who is the executive director Hello. of the Safe Haven Animal Sanctuary. And... Laura, you've been the executive director for now like a year and a half, About, yes. but you were on the board before that, right. so you're so, so committed uh, to what the sanctuary is. Can you tell people about it? Because it's it, it it's not like right in like central Las Cruces, so it's not like people right. see it all the time, right. um, but if you can talk a little bit about the sanctuary, that'd be great. Sure, sure. Uh, we are located out on the East Mesa. Uh, we care for approximately 90 cats and dogs at any given time. Um, we also have a thrift store on El Paseo that is uh, the main funding for our operation. Um, but we have a lovely sanctuary out there. It's on about three acres. Uh, we take in all kinds of sad stories and happy stories. We like to have the happy ending stories. But Absolutely. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful place to volunteer. That's how I got my start in 2010. I started volunteering out there. So I highly recommend it. If you love animals and you want to kind of center yourself and give back, I highly recommend volunteering out at the sanctuary. We also have volunteers at the store. Mm -hmm. So if you'd rather be in town, you can also look to volunteer at the store. Well, and it's it's a no-kill sanctuary, which it means is, that you're housing those, those our fur babies yes. until the end of their life. Correct. And that costs money. It costs a lot of money. We hope to get them adopted, um, but... You know, a lot of these animals, they come with baggage. Um, and Sometimes behavioral, sometimes, sometimes physical. Exactly. Right. Um, we have a little dog right now, a puppy. She's only about maybe eight months old. Mm -hmm. She's part of a litter that we took in, um, found at a dumpster at, at one of the Sonics. Um, the, all the siblings got adopted, mm -hmm. but she's got such a bad heart. Oh. Defect, that we don't know what her prognosis is. We don't know if she'll live a long life. We don't know if she could die next week. So people don't want to adopt them. Yeah. So we will care for her. If nobody comes along, she'll be with us for the rest of her life. 
we have some lifers out there now that it would take a very special person to right. take them into their mm-hmm. home. So. so given that you um, are funded based on donations in the store, yes. you have a fundraiser coming up this Thursday, this Thursday the 18th. So the talk 18th. about that. It is our seventh annual Whining for the Animals event. Uh, this year we've moved to a new location because we actually outgrew our last venue, which is a good problem. That is to a have. good problem. Yes. We will be at the Grapevine Plaza on 3900 West Picacho. It is directly behind the Fair Acres Post Office, if, if you know where that is. Um, so we've got a bigger venue. We want to fill it, so we'd love to have you come. We don't want to look like we can't fill the place. Right. So anyhow, can. we we will have uh, every ticket. Tickets are $25 each or 45 for two. Each ticket comes with a free glass of wine or beer. Uh, we will have... Uh, hors d'oeuvres, we will have uh, live music, and we've got a silent auction that is unbelievable. We currently have over 160 items. We've got health and beauty, we've got automotive, we've got lots of gift cards to lots of nice places, Um, you name it, jewelry, we've got it. So it's worth going just for the live auction. Right, and you know, when when you're talking about where your money goes, especially for an instance like this, when you're giving animals some dignity, um, when they may not have it, or they may not even have a chance, um, you know, if they didn't have the sanctuary, if we didn't have the sanctuary, it's our community that is lucky to have the sanctuary. So um, find Safe Haven Animal Sanctuary on Facebook. You can see they're whining for the animals fundraiser, Mm -hmm. or if they have questions about tickets, who can they call? Um, They can call myself. It's 575-527-4544. We do have tickets for sale at the thrift store. You may also call 575-805-5338 and we'll get you set up. All right. Or if you have a question about it, you can private message us here um, and uh, and we'll we'll pass it on. So, Laura, thank you so much. Thank you so much. For uh, I, I can't wait. I'm glad you're event. If I weren't going to be out of town, I would be at this fundraiser I'd on Thursday. Sure you you, I know. I, I hope you have fun. Thank you. I we'll will. Miss you. I will. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. So just a little bit of... Uh, other other things, if you want to, um, if so if you're a big fan of Safe Haven Animal Sanctuary and also the thrift store, which has just incredible items, Cassandra Lockwood does a terrific job as the manager. If you share this video, you will get in, into the running for a $40 gift certificate from Safe Haven Animal Sanctuary thrift store. $40 gift certificate. So share this video and share it with your friends. We'll do a drawing. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of drawings next week. Uh, and you'll be able to get that gift certificate. And if you'd like to reach over 3,000 people uh, every single week uh, with one of these videos, we have our social media boost program. And this is where I do the Think Local Love shout out, which is what we've done today for the Safe Haven Animal Sanctuary. Um, contact me here. It's an incredible deal. It's super affordable. And uh, you wind up reaching a lot of people that you normally wouldn't reach out to. So um, I hope that uh, we'll get in touch with each other if you want to do that. Um, this week, uh, the Green Chamber offices will be closed starting tomorrow afternoon uh, through Friday. Um, I'm taking a little mini vacay to Chicago to go see the play Hamilton. <gasps> and uh, so the offices will be closed, but I will still answer email. Also, uh, next week, though, you'll see Boost. You'll see Evlas go out next week. Learn Something Local is our inaugural event with the Las Cruces Academy, and we are doing a Chinese Culture Night on Tuesday, May 23rd at the Las Cruces Academy. Um, you'll see a, a little post earlier below here um, where you can uh, RSVP or you can go ahead and click on the link to buy your tickets at Eventbrite. Uh, it's 20 bucks. You'll get Chinese food. You'll get a performance. You'll get learn how to do calligraphy, um, learn more about the Chinese culture at Las Cruces Academy. Also, the kids there learn Mandarin. Um, and so we'll get a little performance from the kids, which is going to be awesome. And then um, Wednesday, the 24th, we have our green drinks at Downtown Desert Yoga. Actually, it's going to be a parking lot party. Um, at the Downtown Desert Yoga. So uh, keep a lookout here for the Green Chamber Blasts every time that we have things going on. Uh, Thank you again. This video, wow, this is the longest one yet. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks a lot. Office is closed Tuesday through Friday. I'll be back again next Monday. Have a great week as always. Think local, give local, buy local, and support your local businesses.